hello guys it's your girl again me dj if you are new here you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for sticking by if you go through my channel if you feel like you love any of my content please kindly watch and hit that subscribe button please don't leave without subscribing and hit the bell like symbol that's notification bell so youtube can notify you whenever i post a new video so in today's content as you can see from the title already i am talking about the mistakes i have made since i relocated to the uk i'm filming this video guys because there was a point in my life when i relocated to the uk i was actually searching for a video like this online and i noticed that i didn't really get to see any that i felt so much i decided why not film a video like this and if you are a potential resident in the uk or you're already here and you know you are still trying to get things together and patch things up by yourself i think you need to watch this video it is very essential so i'll be telling you some of the mistakes that i made while navigating my way in this foreign land called the united kingdom the first on my list is that i didn't get to save early i usually say that you don't have to beat yourself up for not saving early but mine was quite very late like when i came and that brings me to the fact that i had to weigh high expectations you know back home and that's fine you cannot totally understand how the system works until you get here i usually think when i get here you know the money flows you know and that's how a typical african things like when you get here it's hot rosy it's a walk in the park and money start flowing but you don't know the work you must have put in you don't know the egg the the um also the side also you must have put in to actually get things done for yourself so i had way too much expectations and i didn't get to save early the way i was seeing the money the way i was spending it and that's two points right i think left to me i leveled my standard of living or my cost of living way uh, quick too quick enough in the sense that i felt like or i still feel like i should have taken things uh, step by step so it's quite overwhelming you know coming from somewhere where you were earning about let's say 200 pounds for instance you earning 200 pounds coming to a country where you are earning like 2000 pounds i know now the cost of living is higher you agree with me uk is more expensive but then the money still flows in one way or the other so i started um you know pricing things purchasing things that at that point i think i should have calmed down but because i was like oh this is money i need this i need that things that i felt like i could i, I was things i felt like i was i could not afford at the point in my life so getting the money it was just like bye 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 so I started buying and i felt i should have calmed down i should have taken my time to actually get things done maybe i would have saved more i feel like that's a mistake on my part so if you are doing that already i want you to watch out for that a bit you know take to your time i'm not saying you should not buy whatever you need for yourself why not but don't level up too fast i think i leveled up too quick i know many people might not understand this but i know what i'm talking about so the way the money was coming out like it was just like things i've always wanted to buy but i could not afford them back home coming here i'm like oh opportunity let me start buying them meanwhile i could have just calmed down and plan you know how to purchase these things so that's a mistake i would say i made upon relocating to the uk so apart from my finances the expectations another mistake i think i made was not filtering information like whatever information people give me i just digest it meanwhile some people tell you oh this thing you can't do it that way meanwhile you can actually do it that way some people tell you you can't do it you know vice versa so it's really essential that you do so many researches on your own or from relocating to the uk i know friends and families will tell you a lot but sometimes there's a place of luck there is a place of prayer there's a place of uniqueness so because somebody told you oh this thing i didn't achieve it after three months that doesn't mean you we will not achieve it after three months so at a point in my life i felt like when i got to uk i was just you know digesting every information coming my way i was just taking it in without actually sitting down to be like oh can i actually get this thing uh done differently this is the way it turned out for this person i can't need actually turn out for me the other way around you know better so i felt like i didn't really filter information i was just oh this person said oh this thing is done after six oh it's done after six months why i can actually do it in three months so it's very essential that before coming to the uk or after you are here try take time many of us are lazy i'm guilty too many of us 
customers are lazy to filter information to do researches you know get things right by yourself you don't have to ask people all the time when you're confused of course you can ask questions asking questions is very important don't be a one-way traffic but filter information and get things done right that was a mistake i made one of the mistakes <laughs> why uh, when i relocated to the uk another thing i did guys was refusing to get out of my comfort zone when i came here see oh god guys when i was back in nigeria i was living in mushi and if you know nigeria well i was living in mushi i was working in kui guys i was thin i was not thin but i was slim like coming to uk i've added so much weight and that's not because of food it's because even though i'm working out it's just because of the when people tell me oh you've added weight it's not because of food i don't really eat much it's because of the comfortability the rest of mind so coming here i was so you know i was so uh, non-challenged about so many things i was just there you know not coming out of my comfort zone and this applies to my work guys um there were some things i could have done at work differently that were too late that got not too late anyways but that it would have been earlier because i refused to get out of my comfort zone going to the gym you know i i i i realized i've already added so much weight when i mean so much weight it's not for you to come and be saying eh, me day day you're fat oh, me day day you're big. if i see you in my dm or see you in the comment section i will block you but then i refused to go to the gym hell enough you get what i mean like i felt like i could have done that differently getting out of my comfort zone was not just for me at a point in my life i wish i could have made so much money if i did some things differently but sometimes i just realized money is not everything so getting out of my comfort zone was something that i didn't do early enough coming to the uk sometimes you have to sacrifice sacrifice is a very important factor to really survive this country coming out of your comfort zone is very important moving forward i feel like i made a mistake regarding relationships and friendships coming to the uk i'm that person naturally my personality if you know me you know that i don't like to fight i don't like to quarrel i just believe i'm a very simple person by personality of course i have days of my own craziness and madness if i do say so myself but generally i can categorically i can categorically oh goodness categorically categor whatever you know what i mean i can just specifically say that um i am that person who is easygoing i smile a lot people that know me know i smile a lot because life is not hard actually life is not hard that's my motto life i don't i don't allow people to stop my peace because sometimes i feel i've built my peace i've worked out for my peace i can't allow you to come from anywhere come and stay my peace i will not allow you so that's why i tend to smile a lot i tend to laugh a lot so coming here i think or thinking about it now i think i forced some friendships see if you are that person who wants to relocate to the uk or you're here already you're new just know that there are some friendships that will crash there is nothing you can do about it we move forward yoruba says Ogun homode now 20 children cannot play for 20 years so friendships are gonna crumble relationships are gonna crumble of course never let go good people you know try don't say because i'm saying that oh french are gonna crumble you don't check up on people check up on people that check up on you meanwhile there are people that won't check up on you still but they need to be checked up upon checked up upon oh checked up upon <laughs> because life is dealing with them or they are dealing with life one way or the other you need to check up on them you know and uk if you don't know is fast paced the activities here are fast paced things are done in the fast before you know it one year is gone in the uk and it feels like just a blink i'm not joking guys like when i clocked the year i was like i just came what what day i could still remember like the back of my hand you know it was really vivid in my memory it was very sharp you know because it's quite fast paced here the life activities goes at go on and on and on before you know it six months is here before you know you're already five years in this uk you will not realize it so check up on people i'm not saying you shouldn't but some friendships are just gonna crumble there is nothing you can do some relationships are, are just gonna crumble the mistake i made was i was trying to satisfy or please so many people at a time at the detriment of my own mental health or the detriment of my own sanity don't do that you cannot please everybody in the interim or in the meantime that you are using to please these people the moment or the time you're using to please these people trust me 
they will still complain it's never enough people will always complain no matter what you do if you check up on them today you don't check up on them like three weeks some of them some people start picking up their phone they're like you forgot me forgot you my dear what are you saying even me i've forgotten myself so don't try to please everybody all the time learn how to say no it's very important another thing i another mistake i made while living in the uk was i didn't learn to say no quickly this one has money give him mother christmas for the christmas you will run broke money will not be on ground anymore so try to say no learn to say no don't be like me i made that mistake initially i was trying to please everybody forcing friendships forcing relationships forcing you don't need it at the end of the day it's you against you if you are broke now some people will not stand up to you you are just on your own except of course some very good people that are surrounding you don't let go of them hold them tight when you see the good ones you see other people you cannot force them everybody will be all right that's my motto and i usually say that if i don't check up on you that doesn't mean we are fighting you and if you don't check up on me i'm not the type that will get angry i don't even expect people to check up on me when they do i'm like okay that's good like it's a bonus and i'm grateful i'm always i'm a very grateful so i'm always grateful for whatever anybody that uh, do or does what's the English? you shall understand whatever anybody is doing to, for me I just tend to be very grateful. So don't force friendships, don't force relationship. Let whatever want to crumble, crumble. Especially if you see that you are trying to patch it up and it's not working at your own mental head. Let it go, my dear. Put it at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it down. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> Another point I can remember right now is related to the fact that I wasn't going out of my comfort zone early enough um i was not going after what i want quickly when i got here i was still very new i was still doing you know pe -pe -pe -pe. they would ask me do you want this oh i don't want it meanwhile i do want it so don't make that mistake be assertive be confident when you arrive in the uk be confident let your sh timidness your shyness everything that doesn't uh, relate to confidence let it die back in nigeria or in africa when you come here hold your shoulders high go for whatever you want you see that position go for it that post go for it that thing grab it <laughs> the kingdoms of red or take it by fire letter or by force take it anything you feel that you need anything go after your goals go after your ambitions and that i'm grateful for really because i'm talking about my mistakes right but i would just like to chip in something that really works for me i have a plan before coming to the uk it's very imperative i have something you're coming to do like me when i was coming i told myself i'm gonna do a uh, uh, program in nursing and I started it in, within six months of coming to UK uh, within what am I saying four months I already started the program so I have a plan do you, okay after this I'm gonna do this even if it doesn't work exactly like that at least you will have like a backup do you understand you have an alternative you won't just be blank I have a plan prior to your relocation to an overseas or a foreign country sometimes things might not work the way you wanted to or the way you wish so many things will happen here and coming here i thought another mistake i made was i thought it was going to be so rosy i my expectations were just well well thinking about it i won't say they were so high because i've said it in many of my videos i didn't just like uk so coming here it was like i was grumbling like let me just come so coming here i really grumbled about it i was like let me just come people are coming let me come so that was it for me really but upon arrival i was like okay okay is this how that thing is done okay so before i realized it i started blending in so that was really good not too bad to be honest so don't have too much expectations if you are still back home and if you are here take it easy it's for finances don't have too much expectation don't think when you get here you start catching out a uh, catching out a uh, cash out you start getting billions and millions in your account it takes time it takes a gradual process another thing i would like to talk about is that i didn't realize my side also in time you do understand the youtube channel start it in as much as many of us say i have passion for you i have passion for you shut up there i have passion for you including myself is for the money too youtube will pay you do something get your side also before you leave your country know what you want to do do you want to learn how to do have you learned how to make hair can you make pastries get aside also in time is it your bank shift you want to put your belt and start doing your fasting your belt whatever you want to do have a plan concerning your finances of course it might not work perfectly but at least you have something to fall back to you know learn something 
have to decide also you're coming to do because if you are a nurse like me and you think this nursing money we make him buy house in banana hana or lucky or ikoyi i'm so i'm very disappointed to tell you that you are just joking you are a joker you are mr bean you two of you your house is beside one another because you are neighbors in fact you are brothers and sister okay please don't let your finances <laughs> when you pay bills you pay cancel type everything you pay house rent what will remain is only to the glory of god that you survive so side also is important i've said this so many times i'm still hammering it please don't joke with it i didn't realize it in time but now i'm telling you that's why you're seeing this video me they check it for you now so i'm making this video so that you will <laughs> realize these things in time second to the last point is related to something that i have talked about the fact that i usually feel bad when i don't check up on people don't get it wrong of course life deal deals with us differently so many people are coping with different things some people is when they open their mouth and talk you're like eh so this person is going through this so you have to be kind at all times whenever at what i do personally whenever someone comes to my mind and i know i've not heard from that person for a long time i just tend uh to i just tend to check up on them i just it might be a voice note i'll just leave a, a message so uh, there was a point in my life when i got to uk i used to feel bad i'm not checking up on people i'm not checking up on people you don't have to feel bad don't beat yourself up if a person only doesn't understand the long run then i explain to the person how it is i'm not saying you should not check up on people you too don't be that person that doesn't check up all the time they're always checking up on you don't be like that but sometimes it's beyond you i'm guilty of that and i tell people if i don't check up on you doesn't mean we are not friends anymore be happy let no matter what's going on in this country so many things will happen trust me see i used to usually say that coming to the uk is more than the pictures instagram vibes the changing of you know green white green you put the flag behind it on your instagram or your twitter it's more than that there are so many things that will go in the pipeline so many days you will cry go inside the toilet and go and cry you will come to your bed and be soaking wet because you are crying so there are days like that don't beat yourself up pick yourself up again and be happy moving forward the last but not the least point that i want you to put at the right hand or left hand so you don't use it to eat anything you don't forget i think if you are already here and you're new this point is late already but if you are still in the uk you're a potential resident or migrant to the uk i would like you to learn how to drive that was a mistake i made driving is expensive very soon i'll still mount my tripod and tell you my driving story i spent a lot of money guys it's not been easy so i want you to learn how to drive it's very important it's like driving in uk is a survival skill so learn how to drive grab that tutor grab that uncle your mother your father grab somebody that will teach you before you come here so you won't come and start spending loads of money like i have done mistake upon mistake so many things it's a very funny story and journey of mine and i will still bring you guys into it very soon but for now i'll just like to tell you to learn how to drive and that'll be the last for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you learned anything in any way please kindly hit the subscribe button please don't forget that notification bell so you can be duly notified whenever i post a new video like this video share comment and all of that good stuff i'll see you guys in my next one okay until then you know how we do it peace and light on it.